This video will demonstrate the procedure for preparation of high-quality platelet-rich plasma, or PRP, using the M-Site Pure PRP2 system. The kit is opened and organized. The kits do come sterile to allow them to be opened for surgical procedures as well. Once organized, the first step is to draw 6 cc's of sodium citrate, an anticoagulant which keeps the blood from clotting during the process. Next, a butterfly needle is used to draw 54 cc's of blood from the patient. More blood can be drawn and additional kits can be used in circumstances where higher dose PRP is necessary. The anticoagulated blood is then loaded into the separated device. This video is accelerated in speed, but it is important to transfer the blood slowly to minimize lysing red blood cells, which is detrimental to the final product. Once transferred, the separated device and the blood are weighed and placed into the centrifuge. A counterbalance is also weighed to ensure that it is within three grams of the weight of the separated device. It's placed at the opposite end of the centrifuge to create stability during rotation. The first spin is at 4,400 RPM for two minutes. Once the spin is complete, you could see the separation of the red blood cell layer and the platelet plasma suspension. It's important to remember that what is seen is a gradient of blood products, despite the distinct difference noted between the red and yellow layers. The platelet plasma suspension is then aspirated into syringe, ensuring to take the entirety of the plasma suspension layer with minimal red blood cells unless leukocyte rich PRP is desired, in which case a small amount of the red layer is taken to ensure maximum leukocyte yield. Next, the platelet plasma suspension is transferred to the concentrator device. A cap is placed onto the port to prevent the suspension from escaping during centrifugation. The concentrator device is weighed and placed into the centrifuge with a counterbalance placed, confirming to be within 3 grams of the weight of the concentrator device. The second spin is at 4400 RPM for 4 minutes. Once the spin is complete, you could see the platelet concentrate buffy coat is separated out at the bottom of the concentrator device with the platelet pore plasma at the top. The platelet pore plasma is then removed from the concentrator device, leaving the volume necessary for the procedure planned, which in this case is 7 cc's. Once the desired volume remains, the injection syringe is attached to the concentrator device and the plasma is manually mixed to resuspend the buffy coat and all platelets that are coating the bottom of the concentrator device. Care is taken to continually evaluate the device to ensure all the platelets are suspended. Once resuspended, the platelet-rich plasma is extracted into the injection syringe and the preparation process is complete. The PRP is then ready to use for the procedure.